Adversaries, I will ferry to cemeteries, then I'll bury my arrival. Rap survival, co defending the title. Assassinator, resuscitator, star invader of the late great Cape Crusader. YouTube salute. So Trey D was on Vlad TV today and he talked about gangsters staying in life of crime out of laziness and lazy men using the baby boy syndrome being born into it or women actually feeding them that so if you're new to my channel hit that subscribe button click the bell icon and be notified when i upload new content and go live so trey d saying he was in jail prison eight different times and every time he came home he had to actually hustle make money make the ends meet i know what he's talking about got some homies like that and you know they couldn't sit on their ass they had to do illegal things or get a legal job and at this time he's saying Gang, being a gangster or gangster culture makes you lazy. Instead of going to find a nine to five, you're just like, fuck it, I'm going to sell dope. I'm going to go rob somebody. Any means to get the money. But at the same time, though, not everybody in that culture is lazy because you have some people like, fuck it, I'm going to open up a business. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. So I knew what he was saying about talking about not generalizing all people that actually gang bang. But talking more about like it can make you lazy of not wanting to get a nine to five unless you just want to change your life. So like I'm tired of jail and I understand that. Now, let's jump into the baby boy syndrome. I agree with him when he says that there are a lot of men out here. And I know he was probably talking to about black men. They want to be catered and coddled. And you have women, family members. They're going to actually call these motherfuckers people that have no job. Now, let's go to Baby Boy, the movie. I know everybody probably watched the movie Baby Boy. It came out in 2001. So remember, Tyrese is living at his mom's house. Then he go lives with his baby mama, one of his baby mamas, Yvette. So what happens from there? He's not working. He's driving her car. She's at work from nine to five. He's using her gas. He's fucking other women. He's going to see his other baby mama. He's fucking her. So he has nothing to provide. He's just sitting around being a big kid, a big baby. She gets rid of him because Snoop Dogg comes out of jail. And when he comes out of jail, he moves back to with his mom. Now she's with the gangster dude. The gangster dude's like, nigga, this is my, my woman house. And he's looking like, well, nigga, I want this man in my mama house. But at the same time, she's looking like, Jody, you're not a baby no more. You're a grown man. Go live your own life. Let your mama have her life. So at this time, complain about a situation is wrong and i agree with him because you have a lot of men and i know family members in-laws friends they do this fucking shit and i actually had to cut people out my life because i don't deal with baby boys i don't deal with that shit at all that shit is fucking weak weak as fuck weak-minded motherfuckers think like that and when some shit go down they call you complaining. I need help. I need twenty dollars. I got three children. I'm going through a lot, nigga. I slap the fuck out of you talking about you going through a lot, nigga. You ain't going through shit, man. You a bitch. That's how motherfuckers talk. Motherfucker, everybody going through something out here in this world. You ain't the only person in the world going through something. I don't like when people talk like about that shit. Like everybody has problems. The rich, the poor, the oppressed, the oppressor. Everybody has problems. No matter if you're black, white, Hispanic, Asian, Indian, it doesn't matter. We're all going through something. Male, female, children. We all go through something. Elders. So my point being is Trey D's keeping this shit trill, man. All the way trill, real. Come on, man. You, you got to look at it. You got to step up. You got to find a hustle. I found so many hustles. It was times when I couldn't get a job in my mid-20s when I got out the military. I was like, damn, I can't get a job. And I found hustles. I was like, okay, I'm going to do this. I was working at the VA doing work through, um, through community college. It was, a, it was a program set up for the VA that, hey, you can work up here and you will make like $500 every 50 hours. You will, um, you, you, every 50 hours you will complete, you get $500. So even though I had to drive all the way from the opposite side of L.A. to like Westwood, I did it. It cost me a lot of gas, but I did it. I needed money. 
You know what I'm saying? Like, you're going to have to hustle. You're going to have to do things you don't want to do. Even if it's shoveling shit, even if it's throwing away trash, even if it's recycled cans, you got to hustle. My dad always told me that. He was like, a real man's going to hustle. And it's not about how much money you bringing in. It's about you trying, especially if you got children, especially if you got to feed yourself. I mean, who else is going to take care of you? Everybody not going to feel sorry for you. Today, somebody actually hit me up asking me about some money to um, help bury one of their family members. And look at this situation. I helped this person out with $3,000. Yes, I'm going to put them out there like that. I ain't going to say their name. I gave them $3,000 in the last two years for some training stuff. Yes, but the stuff didn't go well. They didn't save that money up. They fucked that money off. And look at them right now. So that's how I look at that situation. One of my other friends, his comic books came out. And yeah, I gave him about $2,000, no, $2,500 for his comic book shit. Look at that shit. And then you see, those people don't hit you up no more. They don't give a fuck about you. They don't. So I don't give a fuck. I'll call anybody out. I'll let that shit be known, man. Like I said, I don't, I don't feel sorry for weak-minded motherfuckers. I'm a real man. I stand on my own. I don't need nobody. If I don't have no money, I'm not asking nobody. I'll find my way to make the money. Trust me. Because you should be, people should be saving their money, especially men. We should be saving our money. We should be putting $25 a month away in a savings account. $20 minimum. Come on, man. It ain't about how much you make. If you can buy drink, smoke, stupid shit like Jordans and stuff, there's nothing wrong buying that, but you're supposed to still save your money. You never know what's going to happen. I'll always save my money. Every time I get paid, I put money to a side just in case for a rainy day or something was to happen to me. If I have to go out of town for a funeral and for the mercy happens, you put to have life insurance policies, assets, generational wealth, stocks, all that type of stuff. And if you want me to do a video about like financial literacy, please let me know. I have no problem doing that because I don't mind educating people out here. Post your comments below. Hoax smash Black Panther the like button. Subscribe to my channel. Click the bell icon to be notified when I upload new content and go live. If you'd like to support and donate to the channel, I have Venmo, Cash App, PayPal, Streamlabs. Everything's in the description. Until next time, peace.